Welcome, 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 welcome to the Westerners Open College 2021. Re-engineer your finances and come to us at Amakaya Wingi. We do offer consultancy services and through also the college under the, under the banner of the entrepreneurship program. And I'm so grateful I'm going to be talking to somebody who has gone through this program and still is going through it. And under the services of the college, we do have structures that are put in to help you set up the business properly. And I'm glad we reorient your passions to go into something that will make you earn a living, but strike a balance between earning a living and also enjoying what your career is all about. We want people who come to Westerners Open College to carry our flag saying, I went to a college that empowered me. And I'll show you a few clips of photos of people that have attended something through our system. The first that you see here, this is Cosmos. The second one you see here is Sylvester. The third one you see here is Isaac. And there are many more other candidates who completed their entrepreneurship. Degrees, Masters and PhD only at Lukomona John University, where you earn as you learn. A unique business model, graduate with a lot of investment in your portfolio. This is the place. Contact us. doing very well here very uh, grateful for everything that we have in this world and um you know we're, we're lucky that we live in the countryside so we've got that. <clears throat> we're, we're very happy that uh, where we are at the moment living in the countryside um the challenges out here today actually we've got some i'm contacting you via mobile internet despite the challenges yeah, so my, my name is uh, oliver glendenning i'm the director of buildwork solutions um, i run a construction and engineering company which makes affordable construction machinery for a various of countries around the world in africa south america and southeast asia um, i have a degree in management and service sector management and uh, i work for eight years, uh, tourism for five years, and I've been in this industry for 10 years now in the construction and manufacturing industry. Um, in my career, I find, especially with the job title I have now, that I quite often have to do presentations for clients. And I'm quite comfortable at doing that one-to-one, -one, and I have been for many years. But I found myself doing public speaking at corporate events only in the last sort of uh, Years and kind of quite challenging, to be honest. You know, um, when you're standing up in front of a group of people, you want to talk to them about a serious subject, and they're all stone faced and looking at you rather a serious manner. Um, and uh, yeah, I, 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 I found my nerves getting the better of me, to be honest. And um, yeah, I, I, I really needed to get over that, that um, mental block, really. Um, and I know even some of the, the best speakers in the world can get moments where they are um, distracted or, or, or unnerved, but I didn't have the tools really to guide me through that. And that, that's why I um, contacted WMIC 
and uh, did the course with you, John, on, on public speaking. And I, I learned methods to help me with uh, public speaking. Um, I was very stiff when I was a public speaker. I would just stand in one place speaking in monotone and just hope that uh, people wouldn't turn off. And, and it was a relief, really, to come, to come to the end of, of my uh, of my session. But I found that when I did the course with you, um, I was able to sort of break down what I wanted to achieve when I was doing public speaking. And uh, I we discussed several topics that I felt comfortable talking about and then had a practice run at your um Marky Arboringi event, which I felt went really well. And, and to be honest, it's changed my, mm. my entire um, perspective when now I do public speaking. I engage with the audience before I talk to them. So immediately I feel at ease when I'm talking before my talk because I can try and walk and speak to all the crowd members as much as I can. So I've got people that I can identify and talk to when I'm doing my, my pitch. Um, I find that I'm more easy to free up my hands and raise my voice to specific points that I want to uh, talk about when I'm, when I'm doing my, my talks now. And, uh, you know, I've spoken to church congregations in Uganda with over 500 people. I've been at events now in Nigeria where I've spoken to a crowds of over 2000 and I, and I felt a lot more comfortable. I bef- going back six years ago, I probably would have run away <laughs> from those types of uh, events um but now yeah i mean it's really it's fundamentally changed um my business when it comes to to public speaking i find that i get five percent more um turnover because people appreciate my talks more they feel more engaged they uh they like and understand the product better than they used to when i when i did my talks and presentations where i used to just really talk off a monitor screen so no it's been a big help to me Okay, that's 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 so wonderful to hear. And this is how many years was that uh, that you did this public speaking? Um, 2014, is it? I think 2014, yeah, yeah, 2014. 2014. So talking about six years ago, and the impact has been so phenomenal. Now, yeah, absolutely. Let me ask you a question: When you were on the course, and you started doing the practicals. I remember one of the auditoriums we were using right here across in Warsaw, uh, which was our center uh, at Life mm-hmm. uh, What sort of things helped you a lot to be able to interact with the audience in during the lessons? What sort of things did you learn that helped you a lot? I didn't really have... Uh... Um, the best to understand the best way to connect with the audience and um, I learned through the college how to articulate my voice to um, raise certain points I learned the importance of connecting with with the audience um, identifying with them and being more sociable before I do a talk is one thing that I learned um, I learned the importance of not being static really and, and, and walking the room and having confidence doing that with my uh, body language. So that, yeah, it really, really helped me to build confidence when I did public speaking and, and identify um, areas where I felt really unconfident, like doing the talk, preparation for the talk, something that I didn't really do um, before when I was doing public speaking. I just thought, okay, well, I've, I've been in this industry for so long. I know everything, so I'll just go and, and, and do a tour. But reality was, now I'm more prepared when I do public speaking. I actually write down what I'm going to say. I practice a few times before I'm doing a talk, and I'm, I'm far more confident now. Yeah. I like when you say you prepare beforehand and you stop assuming that you know it all, and uh, you write yeah. down and you practice before you even go to uh, meet the audience, which is in your house. Yeah. I remember one of the modules always to say, go in the mirror and talk to this audience in the mirror, which is yourself. Because one of the keys to public speaking is to uh, know your audience. There's a wider audience there, yes. mixed audience, but know at least 60% of them so that when you go there, you can actually connect 
And you also talked about changing the tone of your voice when you have to be soft, when you have to be assertive, and so forth. Now, how did this help you after you went through the public speaking to increase your sales? You can say that you increased by 5%. How would that surely impact your sales? Tell me about it. So now when I'm doing public events and I'm talking about the main products that we have, like our vibrating machine, which makes 50 different products, mm -hmm. I'll give people the backstory about what our company does. And then when I get to the main point about our products and machines, I'll say, well, this product makes 50 different products and really raise up my, my voice. And then I'll tell them about the benefits that it can save up to 40% on construction costs and uh, I'll pause and see people's reactions. And, um, I also try and engage with the audience more. Before, I would just really just talk about the subject. But mm. now, I feel more confident asking them questions and say, oh, well, how much would it cost you to build a single-story house in your, in your area, in your country, in your city? And, um, yeah, I feel them engaging with me more. And they seem to be – remember my um, – talk more than other people's and i see that this course is so relevant i mean i think nearly every business event i've been to there's mm. always one public speaker that speaks in monotone and certainly you get it at university lectures as well yeah. you know, someone that's just talking same voice and this and and i've even been to some events where there's been a fire alarm go off and the person's just completely lost it because they've just taking them out of their, 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 their comfort zone. And I think it's important as well with public speaking that you can um, adopt your pitch to different audiences because people are going to react differently depending where you are. I certainly see that I get different reactions when I'm in a church setting as opposed to when I'm in a business setting or when I'm, I'm talking to people at a leisure event. So it's important to, to know how to adapt your, your speaking style, I think, as well. Yeah. All, all this is on the course, and I think I can tell that you, you remember a lot and you've been practicing and you've been doing a fantastic job for yourself, really, and for the people that mm -hmm. you are talking to, because the purpose of people coming to you to listen to you is to get information. But we don't want to get information in a boring, monotone uh, sort of style. People go away no. not having bought nothing from you or just linked with you because it was just too, too flat. But I can see that public speaking has enabled you a lot to play and to influence. So now, they, 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 let me ask you uh, this, this question before we finish. When you look at politicians, um, <laughs> let's talk about uh, comedians, let's talk about salesmen. Do you think these categories could benefit by going on a public speaking and why? Yeah, absolutely, man, and massively, really, to be honest, because if you're not experienced in doing um, public speaking, or you've, or you, or you are a public speaker and you're not feeling confident um, about doing these these sorts of things, um, it will help you in several ways. You'll learn the style and, and in terms of how you feel comfortable to do public speaking the course sets objectives so rather than just like getting to do the course remember us having a discussion quite clearly about what i want to achieve from this and my clear objective was look i want to make more sales so the, the course is targeted towards what you want to achieve so that can be different if you're a comedian i want to get more laughs i want to you know um have a stronger um voice and and, and and be able to change it to situations i, I can imagine it would be different if you're a salesman as well you know yeah. i know i speaking as a salesman myself i'm very confident speaking one-to-one -one. and i know a lot of business owners as well mm. they're quite happy to do one-to-one -one meetings but when it comes to business events they'll get they'll hire someone to talk about their their products so not only will it increase your revenue, it potentially saves you money as well if you become more confident as a public speaker promoting your business yourself. Yeah. Yes. yes. Politicians, do you think they should do public speaking? Say again, sorry? Politicians, a politician. Oh, definitely, 100%. Yeah, I mean, I, I see a lot of politicians that are quite uh, boring to listen to. They tend to speak far too long on the subject matter. Sometimes, obviously, 
being the nature of their job, they don't always keep on topic, um, which frustrates a lot of people. But I think, uh, yeah, politicians would definitely benefit from from them public speaking and probably get more popular and more votes if they did uh, more effective speaking courses. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Who is who do you admire most as a public speaker? The people you listen to. Uh, you, for one, definitely. Um, oh. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I, I admire Richard Branson. I know he does some public speaking talks and stuff, different things. Um, yeah, I've, I've got quite quite a lot, really. Um, there's yeah, there's just so many. If, I, if I'm thinking about it, I, I quite like some of the actors that that do do talks as well. Um, quite fond of Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, he, he's he's obviously an actor, so public speaking at different uh, film venues is is obviously key to to what they do and um uh, comedians yeah i mean peter k he's he's quite funny um michael mcintyre someone at my as well um yeah, yeah and, and, and so many business ones yeah okay thank you so much now tell me recommendations to those who are looking for public speaking why should they come to the BMOC, come on now, what should they do our public speaking? Just encourage somebody there. So there's so many reasons why you should do public speaking at WMIC. You'll get uh, very good tutoring. You'll get uh, target focused learning. You'll be feeling more confident once you've done the course to pe speak to people in a variety of different situations. And you'll learn different methods of, of speaking. So you know, the really uh, recommend coming to WMIC to do the public speaking course and, and sign up today. <laughs> Fantastic. Last question. Would you mentor somebody? Absolutely, okay. I would, yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Oliver, for the time. That's Oliver Blenderby. We are introducing Mr. Kafunda, the Dean. Hello, everyone. My name is Zelu. I'm the Dean for the School of Business and Entrepreneurship Studies here at West Midlands Open College and the John Lukomona University. I wish to first of all welcome you to this year 2021 and I hope that uh, you are all fine. In this year 2021, my department will endeavor to ensure that we afford excellence in the way we offer our lessons to all our students. And I believe that we shall achieve that excellency. And to attain that excellency, I wish to employ you, my students, to put in your utmost best in your studies so that together with the members of staff, you, the students, and all of us shall achieve that excellency that we so much desire to attain. Thank you very much. And I wish to wish you God's blessings even this year, 2021. Thank you very much once more. Good evening, everybody. Yeah, I'm sure you can hear me. Is anybody who can hear me, can you wave your hand, please? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, my name is Pat Ayibola, as you can see, and I coordinate the education program for both the West Midlands Open College and um, Lukumina John University. I would, all right. So, so of the West Midlands Open College and Lukumina John University today, the 29th of January. I would also want to welcome the different members of, the, members of staff, uh, some of the deans and uh, directors who will be will be speaking later in this program. So, as we start, we'll stay after for his opening remarks. So, welcome, Dr. John, to the program. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Mr. Pat, for helping us in this time. Uh, welcome, all of you. It's my pleasure to have all of you attend this wonderful opening session. Welcome, every single one of you, to this uh, opening sessions, the academic year for both the Westminster Open College and the Lukumana Joint University. Ladies and gentlemen, Allow me to recognize Dr. David Oloke, Director of LifeGate Communities and also lecturer at Wuhan University, 
and also founder of the ECC Consultants Limited. And also allow me to recognize the uh, president of the DLI, Mr. Lukomona. Allow me also to recognize the Senate members of the Lukomona John University. And also uh, I welcome all the members of staff, the BMOC and LGU. And also not the least, but most important, our students, the current students and the new students, in particular those who are joining the university for the very first time. The good news is that there is progression between the Western Open College students, if you finish your diplomas, and if you've got a degree already, you can do a master's in one of the courses, or as the case might be. So the platform is open. May I say this to the people present today, first of all, to the students. The school year has started and get the work done. Your lecturers, your mentors, they'll send your timetables and make sure you hold on to those tight schedules. All of you will be allocated mentors and tutors. You know our style, which is why we succeed in what we do. And as the time goes, you're going to hear testimonies from candidates that have done so well in this past few years. Our greatest asset, may I say, is this, the e-learning system in terms of the, the physical systems that we use. Why? Because we are largely now virtual. The Westminster Open College had premises around, but towards the pandemic, dynamics changed. So we are doing much more virtual. It's also an advantage that our friends who are in Ghana, Nigeria, Tanzania, Zambia, Uganda, Kenya, Gambia, Ethiopia, China, and many more do access our systems. And you can see, I can see already on the platform, these countries are represented. Do not forget, do not forget, do not forget your passwords and your usernames. These are some of the issues that you'll be finding as virtual learning increases. If you forget your password and your username, you can't get in. You'll be phoning the administration. Those are, are very important but pertinent matters to look at. But may I now share the vision with you of our development. We thank God for where he has brought us and we thank him for where he's taking us. And I trust that many of you, as is our motto at WMOC, where it says, run into success. At the LJU, we say, where you earn as you learn where you earn as you learn. There is no need for you to accumulate certificates and put them on the wall or in your folder and they do nothing for you. You've got to make money with the certificates. That's a primary reason that you go to improve your learning. You want to have a qualification that's going to give you good income. Then you can be a help to your family, to your community and more. No certificate is good enough if it is just on the wall. And to the young people, you have an opportunity in our establishment. Why I want to speak to young people at this stage is because you are the future of our nations, future of our communities, future of our families. When you attend to education that can empower you financially, you do far better than other things like molarity, custodianship, good behavior, you can put them in place. It's better you have your education that can pay you a dividend. Education that accumulates dust in your handbag or dust in your bookcase or dust on the wall is no good education at all. Education must transform you and make you a better person, which is why it is very expensive to acquire knowledge. It prepares you for the real world. And as I talk on that note for the young people, I'll be finding off. When you are in your homes, your parents, look and emulate what good things your parents tell you. Though they may look a little bit in a different generation, because you are millennials, they know better. They are wiser than you think. You might be very good on your fingers, the computer, but they know better on how to navigate in society. Listen to them for the good things that tell you, they tell you to do. We've come to a place where we have courses that matter a lot. Here on the LJU, 
we have degrees, you have masters, PhDs, and we'll also be launching postdoctoral fellowships. These are high level learning. And we are making this type of education tailor-made to something that can make you in society. You aren't gonna learn things which are theoretical for the sake of prestige that have got this qualification. Here, we would not admit you if your application is for anything that is irrelevant. We want to shape your direction such that when you finish with us, you would say, surely I went to a very good institution. Currently we've got the education courses, assessor qualifications, health and medical sciences, entrepreneurship, biblical studies, uh, which is theology. And we've also got uh, consultancy departments where we help people to, to, to Skype up the, to boost up their performance if they are doing something else elsewhere or in industry. So the courses you see on WMOC here are also mirrored at degree level in the Lukomona Joint University. Today, the academic year, as we open it, you see your lecturers, your mentors talking to you. Now, let me say something to the adults. Our adults, I want to thank you so much. Some of you have got children. Some of you haven't got children. Those who are aspiring to have children is a very good thing. For those who have children, I don't want you to assume that they understand you very well. Sometimes we take it for granted that we know how to communicate with the young people. Sometimes also we do tend to think that our qualifications are sufficient. We need a little bit more exposure to society. How is society moving? What are the dynamics? So if you've got a degree or already or a PhD or a master's, learning does not end. There's consultancy happening in our institutions. Come over, let's talk and see where we can help to progress your career. If you didn't have good grades, what they call good grades out there to enter a university, but you're advanced in age, you can't go back to GCSE or primary, we can upskill you in our establishments. We've got very good lecturers and tutors. So this is a place where you can find your steps. You can start here, start life again at the Western Mass Open College and the Lukomona John University. This is your home. God gives a vision to a man or a woman and many people join in it because a vision helps people to go somewhere better. For those who are uh, Christians and read the Bible, if you study the Bible, you find that each time God wants to save a people, he sends somebody with a vision. Then they go and speak into that community and the community is transformed. So this is your home, join hands with us. Let me also, as I conclude, your excellency, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and all the guests, this is a United Kingdom and a diaspora opportunity. If you've got skills in lecturing a particular topic, come, let's talk. If you want to study further, come, let's talk. If you want to invest, come, let's talk. We are about investment. We are about investment. Investment takes you higher. Connect with others. Make your dream bigger. Make your education relevant. Be help to others. Do not be a liability. Where we are now in our establishment, there is a saying which I like, will convert your liabilities into assets. With these words, I would like to thank all of you for attending and keep an eye as your heads of departments begins to speak. Um, keep an eye on the messages that enter your mailbox. That's how we're going to operate in this year. Thank you very much. And I congratulate all of you that managed to pass your examinations, your coursework. Thank you very much and congratulations. And for those, and for those who are joining us here at WMOC, we work very hard. At the Lukumana Joint University, you are the curtain raisers and you are much more blessed. You've got the first fruit. Thank you very much, Mr. Moderator, Mr. The, the Education Manager, Mr. Patrick Ayobola. Thank you so much. And thank you very much, everybody. I want to welcome the His Excellency to the program. Uh, as Dr. John said, we've got a number of colleges and faculties. Uh, 
such as uh, health and medical, uh, we have the education, we have uh, health and social care. So, so we have uh, those that deal with entrepreneurship and biblical studies. And some of us function across some, uh, some, some of these uh, departments. So we have a number of students and we would like to hear their voices on this program. So if you are here, uh, Cosmos? Yes. Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes, and you are not muted. So please, would you like to tell us some of your experience in joining the college and the university? What are some of the key points, the key areas where you feel this is a good experience for you? Uh, okay, uh, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, first of all, my name is Cosmos. I'm from Ghana, but I'm currently living in China. Wow. Uh, I may say that, uh, okay, let me start it from the basics. That's like my background is IT. I did IT as a system administrator. So I did not have any uh, business background. So I going forward. So I work, I work a lot of companies in Ghana before I came to China. So when I came to China, I decided to go into business. And with my IT background, <laughs> uh, it was a bit difficult, but then I just decided I want to do business. So I started buying things and sending back home to my siblings and my friends to sell and then they send money to me. But then I realized that when I buy the things and I send home, sometimes they sell the things and then they don't, they don't spend the money to me. <clears throat> or sometimes they come with some stories, some funny stories, which wasn't helping the business. So then I sat down and I, I was asking myself that what am I doing wrong? So I started doing research, going to Google to search us like how I can do good business and stuff like that that but then all the stuff that I was getting on the internet uh, were people's stories which I think that's fine it, it may help me but then I needed my own story you understand so uh, I decided to go to to study online so I went to alison.com there it's a website where you can learn <laughs> it but then it wasn't that much pressure Uh, I decided to also look for other schools if I can go to school in China here and stuff like that. But then uh, the language barrier here wasn't that con conducive because I have to study one year Chinese before then I can continue with my course. So I feel like it was going to waste my time. And then a friend of mine introduced the WMOC to me and I went to the internet and I googled about the school, the website, the accreditation and the owner of the school. Actually, the, the, the owner of the school is the reason why that, that moved me. The father is from Africa and he's a black person like me. So I was so happy actually. So I sent an email to the school and then they sent me enrollment, enrollment form and then uh, I filled the form and God be so good they give me a scholarship to study entrepreneur and uh, uh, diaspora management when I started it wasn't it was difficult for me because I, I don't have any business background because my all my education after high school everything was IT, IT, IT stuff like that so it was a bit difficult but then with uh, perseverance Parents going to the internet doing research. Are you there? Hello, Cosmos. Hello, Cosmos. It seems we lost you there. But thank you. You gave us some very important uh, information. And I like one thing you said towards the end. You did your research. You found out a lot about the accreditation, about the business about the 
person behind it and you were able to uh, identify with it. So it's good for everyone who wants to go into something to do your research, be sure that where you want to uh, pitch yourself is a place where you can function and also excel and have something good to present to society when you finish. So the accreditation is there. It's a well, it's a pro properly registered college and university in the UK. And uh, you can see even all the details on the website of the college. So thank you very much for, for your contribution. And then uh, I would like to go on to the next student who, on, if Sylvester is available. Sylvester, are you with us? Not sure about Sylvester, maybe we'll join later. Isaac? Isaac, if you are here, please just wave to us if you're Hello. There. I think I've seen Isaac. Yes, yes. Thank Am I loud and clear? So, Am I loud and Yes, I, I can hear you. So if you can make yourself just a bit louder for everybody else. And it's just as our brother Cosmos did, just give us your key points as to how you got involved with West Midlands Open College and Lukumuna Joint University. And uh, maybe we can learn one or two things from you as well. Thank you. Hey, good evening, good everybody. Hey, greetings to all the stakeholders, the president, the chancellor, Dr. Lokumana, other protocol observed, fellow graduates, students, and all real wishers. I salute you all in the name of God. Amen. God is great all the time. All the time, God Amen. is great. My name is Nsuaso Isaac Composer. I'm from Uganda. I'm a teacher by profession, a philanthropist, and an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. One could ask why I chose WMOC. Well, Sorry, about... Isaac, do you mind switching on your camera? Do you mind for us to see you? No worries. Thank you. I think I'm now I'm now visual. Visual, correct? Thank you. Well, uh, one was one could wonder as to why a person of the background, a teacher and pro by profession with some economics in the background, could choose to go in for a course at WMOC. It came by, I can, I can say by luck that somebody linked me to the, to, the, to, to, the, to the university. And I thought it was kind of a joke, but up to when I, I was enrolled and through my experience, I had a lot to, be, I had a lot to learn right from the word go. Break. Before I can go to testify about my achievements out of my course, I'm glad to salute Dr. and his team for the great work they are doing. For those who are getting onto the university for the first time, and for those who have been at the university, the college, you agree with me that this university has got some parameters which are rare to be found among many universities in the world. From the world you go, the way I was enrolled onto the university, there was integrity because they had never seen me. Everything was done online. But guess what? The admission was done in the blue and white, and the scholarship is vivid and is giving us fruits. So, Sir John Lokomona, I salute you, sir. Then I go to the Professional way, how the tutors handle us. Unless be, truth be said, they are time conscious, they are selflessness. They give us attention and on, on feedback, they, may, they make us feel we are part of them, even when learning is on A. If you look at the courses given by the university, trust me, they are, they are tailor made to suit the labor market and the environment. 
a reason as to why by my bachelor's degree in education with economics, I took on entrepreneurship, but guess what? I feel like I never studied before in my life. So I salute you once again on that. Then I once again salute you on the way you have a follow-back to your graduates through the, the Amaka Yawinji, that platform which has given us the chance to exhibit and network with other people across the world. We exhibit what we've studied and make it practical. So that has been a brief about how genuine, how I'm so delighted, how I'm so proud by the June. I'm so proud about the, the Oklahoma University and WMOC. Hello? Hello, yes. I'm all together. Yes, I was wondering whether you had finished, so no, thank that you. Was, no, that, that, but, oh, that was a brief about the pride I have in the university and the, I, I pray all the people can feel it and then we get to more submissions, we get to more admissions. On my testimony, uh, because, oh, sorry, because I was running a business in my country, which is, educa which, which is edu um, how many institutional development, ed education institutions, I realized that I was doing things rudimentally in a subsistent manner, in the way I think they're right. I never had a back background of how things must be done technically. With me, I had the Nasser school I was running before I opened up to the institution for the, for the course. But in the due course of learning, there are things I've learned and practically I've changed my business. Guess what? My business is run on a seasonal level because we have run the terms. And I never thought that in between the term break, when the term breaks, what can occupy me? By the course, it taught me how to be diversify. How can I invest in other portfolios so that during the break, time, like holidays, I can have something to run the show on. So credit goes to the course, which taught me on how can you diversify and stop leakages. And no surprise, I went on to trying other avenues as COVID stuck us, so the business is shut down, but life has to move on. This credit goes to the course I did. Then I'm Seeing myself getting so better that in the meantime, I even had to liquidate my business so that I can have another branding of the business so that I can beat my primary and secondary competitors. In this, I'm introducing some services in my kindergarten that is the care and the pre-primary. All that can, I, can, I can attribute it to the course, the direction which the course gave me, and I'm so proud and I can justify and say, I did not be for this course. Possibly, I would be still looking at things in the other side of the world. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank so you in the very much. Of time, uh, I can't say Isaac. enough, but what I know, I'm so humbled. The course has been really, really practical on my side, and we are moving ahead with the new avenues. Thanks, thank you so much for the Amaka Yawinji, where we network with other people. Thank you so much, my fellow graduates. Thank you so much, my fellow students. I think the sky is the limit. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Isaac. Great to hear you. Great to hear your voice and see your face as Thank well. You so much. Thank you. And uh, again, well, this is another referral. You were referred through someone to the college and uh, it was a good experience yeah, for you. Yeah. So, is, so all of us have the opportunity to refer people. And I uh, Actually, uh, for members of staff, when you refer people, you have a kind of commission that goes with it, which most of us are aware of. So let's keep telling people about the good things that are happening. Sure. And then also we were able to learn that uh, you, you've been able to find ways of managing your business along with your teaching career, you know, learning from the college, which is great to hear. So so the, the, the college and the uni are programmed in such a way that you learn to earn, you, you are prepared 
to face the job market and even to create your own job. Because we know in the world out there, we don't always get a job, but we can create jobs for ourselves. So you learn principles of how to manage a business and do well in it. So we thank God for all that. So we have the opportunity for heads of department and uh, things to share what's been going on in their various uh, sections and they, maybe what their vision is, the kind of students they've had and what their experience has been with the college and the university. So uh, we just it's just a brief chat to, to us at this time. And I would like to check with uh, Zelu. I know Zelu is there. Uh, Zelu, if you are there, please unmute yourself and feel free to introduce yourself to us. Yes, good evening. This is Zelu. Kafunda, welcome Zelu. Dean and lecturer in the School of Business and Entrepreneurship. So I am happy to be part of this launch. And I would say that it's been a wonderful journey for me. I started also by enrolling as a student in a Entrepreneurship. After I graduated, I became a tutor and later a lecturer right within the same West Midlands Open College. Thereafter, I was involved in a lot of things. I became a level manager and eventually the dean, like I mentioned. And uh, one thing I should mention is that uh, under the School of Business and Entrepreneurship, we offer entrepreneurship as a very practical course. So what we do is we talk to students who have been enrolled and look at, at uh, what businesses they are running. If they are not already running businesses, we help them develop Some and the, through the course, a lot of people have been able to do just that. Now, I should mention that uh, with the transitioning to the Rukomona John University, we have uh, since transitioned a lot of students, those who had done, only done certificates are doing diplomas now, and those who had done diplomas diplomas doing bachelor's studies. I should also mention that uh, we have also started enrolling for master's students. So what we are saying is that uh, whatever we are doing under entrepreneurship, it's very practical. It's not theoretical, like you heard in the opening remarks from our principal and Chancellor Dr. John Okomona. So when we invite or enroll students, we endeavor to make sure that they practically learn the art and do that which we teach them. So you will never go wrong to enroll at the West Midland Open College and Okomona John University because this is the university that will help somebody to develop their business, that will instill skills that will make them make money on their own. Like you had, we are not here about making people accumulating a lot of certificates and not being able to make money. So right from the onset, as we begin to offer intermediate studies, we tell them that we teach you how to make money. Having said that, I also wish to welcome our new students in our department, even in this year, 2021. My hope is that we shall achieve the excellence that we strive to achieve every year. With my staff, 
we will make sure that we give it our very best and ensure that our students learn all they have to learn. I also wish to call upon my students to give it their very best so that together students and staff achieve excellency that we are striving for. May God bless you all even as we move forward. Thank you very much. That will do for, uh, for me. Thank you. Thank you, Zilu. Thank you very much. Thanks for the um, encouraging words. And uh, it's good working with you. I know you have a lot of ideas. And if we allow you, you keep talking. Uh, because of that time, we need to move on. Uh, I know Paminda is here. I wonder if Paminda has anything to say very briefly, please. If you can unmute yourself. Hi. Paminda has okay. been with the college for... Uh, uh, yes, go I'm on, on Paminda. I'm, in the, I'm, a, I'm a maths tutor for the West Midlands Open College and uh, I've been with John now for two to nearly three years and um, I've worked in other agencies, I've worked for other people but um, this is probably in, been the one I most like and I'm most settled in. Um, I'm qualified to teach, I've got a degree in mathematics and I really do enjoy my time here uh, here with John. It's, uh, it's very good, it's rewarding and it's, uh, you know, seeing people learn things for the new time or seeing people do well is at the heart of everything and you know and those who are struggling helping them as well. But yeah I just uh, uh, I, uh, I'm doing a PGC as well at Sandwell College and John is my mentor, he's my placement for that course And it's going okay. I'm uh, I'm doing okay, and uh, yeah. And so uh, yeah, it's just uh, I look forward to John and my students. And that's it. That's me. Thank you very much, Paminda. Great to hear you. Okay. Uh, I would like to talk briefly about my own role at the college and uni. Uh, my name is Pat, as we all know by now. I just make it short for. Pat. Patrick, some people think is a lady, but it's just to make life easier for everybody. So uh, I teach English and maths and uh, biblical studies as well. And I run, um, I manage the education and education department and as well as the curriculum for the college and the uni. So, and I've worked with Dr. John Lukumana for almost four years now. You know, so I, I met, I was referred to him from church by a Christian sister and we got chatting and we got uh, started together. So it's uh, one of the things I like about his vision and his personality is the humility, the diligence and the dedication that he puts into what he does. So it's challenging, especially for many of us who are in the diaspora to come in and to try to put in our feet and put the best into what we can do in the UK and beyond. So, and I remember we once met at the Zambian uh, embassy too. <laughs> we, we were both in, in the same neighborhood and then we met at Zambia embassy and, you know, so it's interesting to work together and to see how we can make life better for, for ourselves and for everybody who, who comes along with us. I will need to also mention, because sometimes we forget to mention that we do tutoring of students at any level, primary, secondary, you know, in addition to other college and university work. So for some of us have children and they may need support at this time in, in English, in maths, in science. So that's an area that West Midlands Open College has been do doing for many years and has actually been doing a lot of things online before for the era of COVID, you know, so it's not new for the college to uh, use online platforms. So, and of course, all the other college uh, courses for the college and the university, they are there. We have other lecturers who are not here at the moment. We work in health and social care, medical doctor, 
Dr. Tempo not here, you know, but some of them could be very busy as well with other engagements. So it's a diverse community, even though most of us tend to be African, but there are a few others from other regions of the world. And then we are scattered across different areas of Africa, from South Africa, from Zambia, Ghana, Nigeria, you know, both as staff and as students. So it's a great opportunity for us to network together. So thank you for listening to me. And uh, we have opportunity for many, some of our guests to also share their experience with us at the college. And then towards the end, there might be a very short opportunity for anybody who has a question to pose their question, which I believe that Dr. John Lukumana or myself for Paminda will be able to answer, or Zelo as well. So, uh, I would like to welcome Mr. David Dixon. I believe I've seen you here with a big smile on your face. So Dr. D uh, David, I can't see his photo anymore. Okay, maybe it's on the recess. Okay, so in the meantime, Dr. David Olok, I'm not sure if that's Oloke. Dr. David Oloke? I think he dropped a message that he has gone to another meeting. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So uh, we have uh, Oliver as well. Oliver Glenny. Oliver Glenny, do you have any brief comment? I'm not sure about you. And Walter, yes, I can see Walter now. Walter, if you like, will you, yeah, you are not muted. If you can switch on your video for us. You have any comments about your experience with the college or the university, please? Okay. Yes, that's Just fine, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can wait for you and uh, Sylvester, if you don't mind Sylvester, if you want to come on and then uh, we'll give, uh, we'll give uh, we, we'll give uh, Walter a chance after that. So Sylvester, if you don't mind, would you like to give your comments as your experience being a student with the college and university, please. Hello, Sylvester. Well, for some reason, Sylvester is not connecting, but I know you are here. So, Well, if it's a game of switching at the moment, Walter, if you're ready, I don't mind if you come on now. Okay. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah, my name is Walter Is it? Yeah, I, I live here in the United Kingdom. Uh, we live in a place called um, Warsaw, Brazil. Yes, and uh, 
by natural design uh, I met Dr. Tunukumuna uh, a few years ago, many years ago, not a few years, and then um, we come to know ourselves uh, as an individual. And also, uh, when I found out that um, he was running a college, I enrolled myself in the college programs uh, where I graduated uh, in leadership management. And the good thing, um, jo Dr. John I was also talking about university, opening a university and um, I have seen quite a few people who are also um, studying at the university. And um, it has been a very tremendous upliftment, uh, mainly to the people from our own community. Uh, Dr. John Nukumuna as a person is, is, a, is an uplifter of the those that are down. He loves education and he wants people to be educated. So having a um, John Lukumuna University is a tremendous opportunity for those that come from our community. I have to tell you the truth uh, because I've seen many people who can and not express themselves normally, but seeing them at the university and seeing them outside the university, how they have become smart, intelligent, and being ex able to express themselves without being timid. And I um, think that is one of the gain that university have made open for so many people. Um, there are so many things that I can talk about the university, to be honest. But since we are just starting, I will also give chance for any person that is available that wants to make a comment while we continue. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Great to hear your voice and see you as well. Thank and you. I trust that you continue to make the best of the opportunities you have had with the college and continue to progress as well, because the sky is the limit. That's you can move on to a PhD. Excellent, yeah. <laughs> that that's the, that yeah, is the great, goal. Great. So, yes, uh, at this point, it's possible for one or two people to have a question, and uh, we just want to give about two or three minutes to that. So, if anyone has a question, you feel free to unmute yourself and let's see you so that. Uh, or possibly wave so that I can be sure who needs to talk. Yeah, with, with the question be addressed to you or to... It's an open Dr. question. John? It is capable of handling every question, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, to be honest, um, it, it's just to uh, keep the program running. But as for myself, I don't have much um, question to ask uh, because um, John Lukumina University um, is a, a kind of, a, I would say, my alma mater. I would say an alma mater. So uh, there are so many things I know about the university. But having said that, um, Dr. John Lukumuna, uh, I just want to say congratulations once again. And um, I know that um, years are gone when our degree, our degree can end us good employment. Now, what, we are, what employers are asking now is the skills that we possess. So Dr. John, 
um, what kind of skills uh, will the new incoming students, now that we are dealing with COVID-19, what kind of skills will the newcoming students gain from the university? Dr. John needs to unmute. Am I, am I loud now? Yes. Okay. Maybe, why don't we do this? Thank you. If we just finish all these people are supposed to speak, then the question's at the end. Yes. Is that so? Because we've got... Uh, it's two more there. There's Mr. Okay, thank Mr. you. There. Yeah, I've just seen. Thank you. And there is Mr. Who, who else? Um, Sylvester is muted. He didn't, I don't think he's hearing the mute. Elvis is here. And Elvis is here. Let's finish with these ones. Then other people can ask questions. Okay. We we, we also need to make a correction. Okay. The Bible school students. Yeah. Are, All right. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget the Bible school students. The timetable says something wrong there. It says Sunday 30th. It is oh, actually yes, Sunday I can see. Okay. Yeah. So if Mr. Yeah. The other speakers speak, then we can come to questions. I think it's next. Is it Mr. Lukumana? And maybe Elvis? Yes. yes, thank you. So anybody who has a question, just reserve your question. Uh, so let's see, is Elvis ready at this time? So Elvis, you so Pat, you, you see kind of mute and possibly yes. Sorry, I didn't hear that, Doctor John. Um, there is uh, Elvis is here. I can see him. Um, Mr. Lukomana is there. DLI is there. I can see him. Oh. And uh, Sylvester is here as okay. well. And then, all right, Charlotte, Charlotte in Ghana. One of your students, I can see her there. I can also see some yes. professors. Leo is there. I think these people would need to say something. Okay. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello. Hello, Dr. Amir. This is Leo. Oh, that's Leo. Okay, just do you understand? Yeah. Do you understand? Okay, oh, hello. Yeah, this, oh, okay, one person at a time. Yeah, just understand that. So that's the list. Yeah. Have you seen Mr. Uh, Pat, Patrick? Uh, can you see that? Yes. List? Yes. Okay. So, so, yeah, Elvis, if you want to start, please unmute yourself. Yeah, today I'm, I am here to just uh, say Happy New Year to each and everyone and very excited to. Uh, Meet all of you once small. Oh, and uh, I, I can see some new faces around, and I'm really excited. Yeah, so as we say, uh, let's row together. As you know, uh, the time difference is a uh, little. Uh, it's now 3 a.m. here, right now in China. Yeah, so because of this important meeting, we have to stay awake. Yeah, so uh, once again, Happy New Year to each and everyone. And I'm really excited to meet everyone again. Yeah, yeah. Yes, thanks for coming on board and sparing your night to speak with us. So do you still have anything to comment oh. about? Oh, it's it, uh, in just terms to of add your experience a little, with us. Uh, uh, just to add a little pinch of salt to uh, what previously uh, people like like you, uh, is it water uh, and uh, yeah, and other uh, students who have already excelled in in this institution? Yes, just a little pinch of salt to add some little taste, small taste to it. That uh, we are all excited. Uh, we we are somehow businessmen. Now trying to uh, the business uh, sector 
and it's really been helpful studying here. It has enlightened us so much, giving us a real background on what we have uh, actually uh, need on the market level. It enlightens us or teaches us so many things, which, which uh, whenever you, you are here, I think you will learn a lot. It gives you more details about uh, whether it's marketing, whether it's uh, uh, accounting or whatever. It gives you basic grounds on each. So I, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So that is, that is what I can add to it, that if you are here, you are not at the wrong place, but you are at home. That is it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, You're welcome. For your contribution of this. And uh, once again, we appreciate you speaking to us all the way from China. I have people in China myself, so I oh, okay. understand <laughs> what you're talking about. When we want to talk, exactly. when it's night here, it's exactly. morning there. So exactly. yeah, thanks so much. So, uh, DLI, you've been on from the beginning. So great to have you. So do you mind to unmute and let's have your, a bit of your experience with the college and the university. Uh, thank you so much, uh, West Midlands Open College uh, and Junior Kumana University for <clears throat> this invitation. Uh, I'm sure my boss is not so good. It's like Dr. Lokomana said, uh, from the best learning institute we based in Hamburg um, and so on. And we've got uh, the best of programs we've enjoyed since inception when we were um, formulated or founded in 2010, uh, the relationship with the West Midlands Open uh, College. And um, I would love to actually uh, thank WMOC then for the gallant work that it has done to uplift the lives of many across Zambia, Africa, and Kingdom, and even in Germany, I want to talk about the German aspect, uh, which is quite uh, big right here, which most of the people never knew about. Um, in uh, 2013, uh, Germany, we experienced the influx of uh, so many refugees coming from Syria, Afghanistan, Libya, Iran, Iraq, Jordan, and so many countries in the Hamburg, according to the statistics all over Europe, I uh, received a lot of thousands as compared to any other cities and others. Our institute was just, you know, in the, in the peripheral of where the camps were set up. And then uh, to cut the story short, uh, DLI, we got involved in training these students, of course, without the permission of the state, because the state of Germany or Hamburg was in a, in a they couldn't absorb and train all of them in the things of German language. And uh, we came into being, we started teaching German language. And um, the students did their courses. Now, what do we do? At the end of the courses, they were supposed to be certified to sit for the final exams. Then we took these uh, students, uh, are we talking about over 500 and later on over 1,000 to the exam? boards uh, for German language in Deutschland, which entailed that after they have gotten this kind of a document, now they are able to go into their main stream of education, because most of them, some of them were medical doctors of different backgrounds, and they lost everything wherever they were coming from. So now what happens? All the examination boards refused to give them exams, because that time we were not registered as an examiner for German language. So I... I went from one examining board to the other within Germany. Everybody refused. They simply said they have to pay the examination fees, which were at that time uh, like $100. And these are the refugees who are getting a salary or an allowance, pocket money of only $120. So I would put up a case and say, look, if they spend $100 on the examinations, what are they going to live on? It became an asset. Uh, then something clicked in my mind, and I said, no, come on, we are in partnership with uh, West Midlands Open College, and WMOC, they've got a languages department. Talked, I talked to uh, Dr. Luke Mona, within a second, he said a yes, and we're going to send the examination. So what we did was we partnered 
snuck together and these students eventually did their final examinations and despite the fact that we couldn't find the examiners within Deutschland, the, the certificates which they received from WMOC got recognized by the German state and the students found their feet to continue their normal lifestyles. And we took them to various companies. We took them to various schools. Those were teachers. And they're like, so I really thank uh, WMOC uh, for having had come at such a point. And I want to tell you something, Dr. Luke Mona and team, that even up to now, all those students, they still remember and ask about WMOC. Probably I would propose that find time and call a meeting and talk to these and listen to their testimonies. They're doing great. They are medical doctors, they are teachers, they are nurses. So thank you so much. This is what I just wanted to say uh, and I appreciate the partnership that we've had with the WMOC. And I believe and trust that even as we, you balloon to uh, John Okumana University, we're still going to have the kind of bond that we've had. Congratulations on this day. You are launching your university. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. Yes, thank you, DLI. Very informative. Yeah. Yes, we uh, we very informative um, remarks there about uh, the collaborations and uh, the experience of people. Uh, you know, many of us we are fortunate. We haven't experienced all these refugee influx or being refugees ourselves, but when you hear stories, it's so pathetic. And for people like you to be involved in helping to integrate them into society is the kind of thing we Africans want to also be seen doing and contributing meaningfully to the world. So thank you. And uh, now uh, we want to move, in, move quickly, uh, just about two, three minutes each. Uh, so that we can begin to round off. So, Leo, we, are you happy to unmute and let's have your voice? Yes, please. Hello, can you hear me? And if you're happy to show your face as yes, well. Good evening. Uh, one second. Thank you. Yes, please go on. Yeah, so um, good evening, everyone. Um, I'm starting the entrepreneurial and leadership course. And I have a few questions. Just like, um, it's my first time doing online school. But um, when doing exams, how would they be assessed? That's by coursework. It's by coursework. You're going to have an assignment. You have to write up like a, a very small dissertation, and that's marked. It's continuous assessment. You get feedback on your coursework. Is that okay. clear? Yes. And uh, I think the uh, entrepreneurship lecture was here as well. Okay. Yes, it's coursework. So you know. I have another question as well. Um, Let's go ahead. Um, to my, I have a younger brother as well. I want to also, I want him to enroll as well. He's missed a bit of our secondary school and he wants to catch up so you can do GCSEs. So I heard about the tutoring program. Yes. We program that you guys offer, which is very good. And um, I want to encourage him to also join. That's fine. Yes, we should be able to do that. Yes. We have a school for from year three to GCSE. Yes. Very welcome indeed. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Excellent. Thanks for your help. Yes, thank you. For, thank you for that. Yes, I'll just move on because uh, Charlotte has been there since the beginning. And uh, it's good to give her a chance not just to see you, but to hear you. Okay. Good, good evening, evening, everyone. I'll be excited to be among you. And uh, this is my first time doing online. The question is, um, you can realize I was having challenges about this uh, technical problems. I don't know if we start a class and along the line, my network goes off. 
what am I going to do? Is it going to, are they going to record something in a form of YouTube so that we can access it later on? Dr. John, do you want me to answer that? Yes, please, you can answer it. That, or you answer it? You can answer it, answer it yourself. First. Okay, so, well, let me tell you a lecturer. First thing, because we all have issues with technology from time to time, I make sure that I have the normal laptop on and my tablet, if it's not busy doing other stuff at the moment, I'm using the tablet to coordinate the program. So, but otherwise, I will also have a second option on my tablet right away. So if you have a draw facility, that's great. Apart from that, we have recorded lectures. Some of the lectures are live, some are recorded. So you have access to the recorded ones, all you need to do is log in. And then if for any reason you have technical difficulties, if you had it before the time of the lecture and you know you are not going to be available, then send an email to your teacher. Let's know ahead that you won't be able to make it because you are struggling because we understand you are in Ghana and anything could I just have and say, and this afternoon something happened. Well, of course, you ask how will you, able, will you be able to communicate if you are not online? But I mean, you could use some other facility, maybe a friend or anybody, any opportunity you have. But that said, if that is not available, uh, the next opportunity you have, let us know what went wrong, and then we'll see how to support you. The college and the uni are about supporting students where there is a genuine need. Of course, we don't expect the students to go to a party and come back telling us that uh, they couldn't make it, because that wouldn't be fair on the system as well. Okay. Thank you. So does that answer your question? Right. Yes, sir. So, and my my second one is uh, personal interaction. How do we interact with our course mates? Again, if you look at the website, there is opportunity for you have a forum there which we can you know, activate for students to use and interact with each other. Virtually every college and university that runs online programs have such, uh, such a facility. And also in so, the, And then of course, if you want to, yes, go on. Yes, and also in the school account, when you log in there, you see a fellow participants there and there's a forum. And I would, I would encourage people to start using the forum send details, send some conversations, you can communicate there. And also the WhatsApp, the WhatsApp group, although that one is much more one-way college information, but social interaction, the forum in the e-learning people use it, it's there. It's there, just start talking and people responding. And also I think Elvis, is it Cosmos, talked about um, Another forum that we have, we do come online like this. We just sit down and chat. Last, before Christmas, we made a, a resolution that once end of every month, we'll be coming together just to chat. Zoom is on. We are chatting and just talking about anything and anyhow with a view to just interact as between staff and students. So there's that live chat on the uh, e-learning and also the actual face-to-face -face like Zoom, like this one, once every month. But on a regular basis, you've got friends in the uh, classroom. When you log in, you see on your left, it says participants. Those are the people you can chat with. There's a forum there. And I probably would say to people, use a forum. Many people don't use it, but let's use it. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dr. John. So, and uh, want to move on a bit first. Uh, uh, Evelyn, feel free to unmute yourself. And if you have any comments or question, please go ahead. Yeah, that's cool. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am uh, Evelyn Osegali from Nigeria. 
I'm pleased to be with everyone there. And actually, um, one of the questions I actually had, she had asked the question about um, how to interact with your course mates and uh, when you're struggling with the uh, network. So you have answered that. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Evelyn. And then, do we have any other students that wants to speak or ask a question, please? Pat, on, Pat, on your list yes. is a lady called Benzo. I've seen that on your list. Check it there. What? After Leo, there was Benzo. Okay. Uh, is she? Yes. I'm not sure. Can I see Benzo online now? Yeah. Benzo, yeah, if you can hear us. Please feel free. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Yeah, this is uh, uh, actually Benzo Malawo, and uh, thank you so much um, for this um, launch of the John O'Connor University. And uh, I was once a, a, a student there. I did the, um, the the teaching and assessors course back in 2012. Uh, I, I, I have a degree in political science and um, adult nursing, which I obtained from UK. But I'm one of the people that, uh, after sucking the, Can you switch the camera? skills from UK, I ran back to Zambia to. Okay, just hold on. Yes, we can see you. Yeah, so, um, so we just came back from work and we still time. And yeah, so came back to, to Zambia and um, with the skills I obtained from uh, then, uh, at that time it was called CPA. Uh, I, 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 uh, I, I uh, graduated a school uh, called Moonlight Health Services. Trained, we, we train nursing assistants and psychosocial counseling at certificate level. And um, at the moment, I'm still self-employed. I rolled out the program uh, nationwide, and I've tra we've trained over 6,000 uh, students, and most of them are employed. Some of them are self-employed, and some of them have advanced to higher um, uh, levels of education, university, and uh, some are studying medicine, and uh, a long list of health uh, courses. And, uh, at the, at the moment, um, due to my political uh, uh, degree and uh, experience with working in UK as a civil servant as well, I've transferred my skills here and I'm now aspiring MP here and I'm standing as a member of parliament, uh, <laughs> as a member of parliament here in, uh, mm -hmm. in, in Zambia, in a southern province in a, in a constituency called Magoye as an and an independent uh, candidate. So at the moment, I, I am not satisfied with uh, the skills and um, I feel I still need to do the entrepreneurship and uh, uh, do my masters so that I can um, govern and lead my people with uh, more knowledge. As some, someone mentioned earlier that uh, you'd think, you know, I've never, I've never been a politician. I've, I've, I only have a theory, but I know I'm a leader because I've been a director uh, since 2013 and I've run a very successful business here. Um, so I'm so happy that I'm back uh, with uh, the John of Common University this time. Yeah. Thank you so much. So much just yes. for encouraging me to come back uh, to John Common University uh, to, 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 to do the public speaking and the masters in entrepreneurship and uh, uh, business development. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward, and I'm sure when we graduate, I'll meet most of you. And when I become MP, I'll come okay. celebrate with you. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> we can come to celebrate with you. Thank you. 
so much. You as well. Oh, exactly. yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Actually, Leo is my son, so it's Yeah, good. that's great. That's great. Nice to hear you. What's a good... Beautiful. Ambition and coming, you know, that from a female voice, that's great to hear. Aspiring female leaders in Africa, yeah. it's wonderful. My yes. name is Damosa. Okay, yeah, we yeah, thought great to see you, Damosa. Same here, yeah. All right, so I believe we have Ben Zulu as well online. Benzolo, feel free if you are here to share that's your experience. Benzo, yes? That was Benzo. Oh, Benzo. Yeah, that was Benzo. It's Matthew. It's Matthew. Atiel. Okay. I saw. Okay. Yes, yeah, Matthew. Matthew Atta, you've been here for long, all the way from Ghana. Yes, hello. Good evening to everyone. Hello. Good evening, Matthew. Good evening, good evening. Yeah, my name is Matthew, a former student of West I'm back to Ghana, and I'm currently working as a licensed ambassador for the university. Great. And I'm listening keenly to all what I... Sorry, your, your I line is... It's a bit more full. I think if I want to talk, I, I can spend like a whole one year talking about the things I've learned from West. Thank you, but make this Hello, one short, can you please. Hear me? <laughs> yes, a bit better now. Hello. A bit better than before. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Okay. Thank you. The next situation. Here in Ghana can be so worried sometimes. Yeah, just make it brief. We Hello, understand. Can... Yeah, what I was saying is that I am a former student of the college, West Midland Open College, and now I'm in Ghana and I'm working. And as a student, I learned a whole lot from West Midland Open College, mm -hmm. and I know. Our current students are going to benefit a lot from the university, from the college, mm -hmm. from the university and the college. And um, working as a licensed ambassador for the university, I would say it's a privilege. And I want to thank John. I hope together I will help build the college to become one of the best in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, Matthew. Thanks. Great. To hear you, yeah. I'm not quite sure. Do we still have anybody who wants to contribute or ask a question? Fatima, she's just text me. She's upset. yeah. Um, let me make a, a brief. What? Can I? Ask? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Carry on. Carry on. Is Fatima there? Can I go on? Okay. Thank you. Just okay. Good evening. Oh. Okay. Good evening. Good evening to you all. I'm going to on, Fatima. Switch on your <laughs> I'm in a public dock. I'm in that car. Okay, okay. Yes, go. Thank you. Karen, that's okay. I'm Fatima Kebe. I'm going to be a brand of sonality. Sorry. For the noise, there a couple of hours. I was on my way to Dakar, so I came for a business trip. All right. right, thank you. Okay. Yes, do you have any comment or question? Please. Okay. For now, uh, yeah, but. Let me move a bit. Hello. Hello. We can hear you. Yeah. 
So I was in a public. That's why I couldn't see anything. Ask, ask, ask Belinda to come in before. Hello. That's All right. It, it appears uh, we are unable to communicate very effectively at the moment with you, uh, Fatuma. But thank you for the efforts. She's in Gambia. Uh, yeah, who wants to come in now, please? Uh, is Belinda there? Can you see Belinda? Belinda, yes, Belinda has been with us since the beginning. So yeah, please feel free to morning. mute. Bye-bye. Hello, good evening. Good evening, Belinda. Yes, um, Belinda Chitusa. I'm a teacher by profession, uh, a secondary school teacher. I have a bachelor's degree with education from the University of Zambia. Um, Zambia here to do, I'm, uh, I'm here to do my biblical studies with John Lukomona University. And I'm so happy to be associated with this wonderful university. And I'm looking forward to learn more from this wonderful university. Thank you. Thank you very much. And before I end, I would like to say sincere condolences to both the Lukomunas for your loss. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you Belinda. Thank you everybody and i just note for everyone the biblical studies classes will start in two days uh sunday will be starting the first uh, lesson and it's still open for anyone who is happy to join so do we have anybody else before we before i refer back to dr john for any closing Remarks. Water. Yeah, water, water. Unless you want to speak again, what I've spoken. Yeah, the question. Yeah, just a, a yes. brief one. Um, just want to talk about uh, Dr. Lokuman as a person. Um, he's a person that um, has his community at heart. Mm -hmm. Uh, in several locations, he has also provided them um, scholarship for so many people from black community. And um, I know many people that have uh, enjoyed and benefited from John Lukumuna um, scholarship. And uh, also, Uh, Dr. John is someone who has this tremendous skill. Uh, no topic of education is too low for him. No one is too high for him. As long as you are willing to learn, John Lukumona will put you through to that that topic or that module. It's a good man that I have met and I've enjoyed him both in my business and in academic or education. And I had a company that I nearly threw away, but he encouraged me to put the company for sale. And through him, we the company very well and then made profit from the company, no loss at all. So I want to say thank you, Dr. John Lukumuna, for all the help and all the encouragements you have been providing to the black community through your person and through the college and the university. We say thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Walter. I was waiting for Dr. John to acknowledge that. So, uh, 
there's a touch of humanity there with uh, learning. So we're not just learning all the theories, and uh, but we there must be a touch of humanity in whatever we do so jointly we appreciate dr john lukumuna together and we appreciate all the members of the team those who have been working in various capacities some as ambassadors some as teachers as coaches as lecturers and many people coming up as deans of colleges of faculties at this time. So a great thank you to everybody. For all the students who are joining, it's a great place to learn and to participate. It's not a stressful place. Of course, we expect you to work hard. That's what scholarship is all about. I, I spoke with a student not long ago. He got a fairly low grade from me. And then he said, uh, he's mother wasn't so happy with the grade is uh, is on a tutoring program and I say that we work for Max and teachers don't give out Max just to impress students you know so that's the spirit of scholarship but we are here to support we are here to give all the assistance that you need to excel in whatever you are doing so if there is no other question or comments I would like to pass it back to Dr. John Lukomana for his closing remarks. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Patrick Ayebola, who is our educational manager in both the WMOC and the Lukomana John University. Thank you for hosting us very, very well and to chip in uh, this hard time for our family. Thank you so much for all people who have attended. It's been wonderful. I was following up on the other screen, people coming in, numbers going up, which is excellent. On purpose today, we didn't sky, uh, put it live. It was supposed to be live on Facebook, but I thought, let me just, just, just do it at least. However, this recording will be available in your e-learning. Once you log in, you're gonna see the full program in the e-learning. And then we're gonna also put a clip on our YouTube channel. You can forward it to your friends and relatives. Good things must be shared. It's very important. And now, thank you so much for the kind words that you've said about me. I was thinking, was it me they're talking about the good things or somebody else? I don't know. But that, if that's what you see, I thank God for that. I think I've got lots of things that are not so good. For, I need to improve myself. But the things you've said about me sounded so good that it's not really me. Pray for me in the areas that I'm so, not so good. Thank you very much for all the lecturers the work you do. Thank you very much, those people, students who wake up in the midnight just to attend our lessons so that you can become a better person for your community. Now, this institution, the Common Journey University, is officially opened. People are signed up. And I want to thank those first students. You carry this award. You are the first, the curtain raisers. You are the first, the founders. It says here, Diaspora Opportunity, United Kingdom founded 2020. This dream has been in the long making, and I think this was the right time to launch it, and many of you will be blessed by this. We welcome you to come and do a degree, master's, PhD, even postdoc. I've got all this myself. I went to as far as postdoc, so I'd like to do what God put in me to also give out. On postdoc, I served a very big organization here, in the United Kingdom, British nuclear tools. I was one of the top programmers. I was cloning uh, an expert, a human expert into a computer program so that somebody who wants to know how to do a certain thing might consult that computer program. That's the last project I did. But my vision was to set up my own institution with you so that we can carry our visions to a greater height. And also the VMOC has been the link foundation to develop people from the, uh, I would say, level ones, two, three, four, and then jump into level five, six, and seven, and eight. So you have a place. If you do not have certain entry requirements elsewhere, come over, let's do it together. We can patch you up nicely and launch you even better. Our key is run into success. And here we say, earn as you learn. Thank you so much. God bless you. And today we want to have that aftermath talk. 
will begin our seminars next Friday. And the person opening our seminar next Friday is Mr. Elvis Agre Kwesi in China. He will be speaking from 7 p.m. to about 7.30. Then the week after, we've got, I think it's uh, Mr. Lukomona DLI German will be speaking. And the week after, I think it's Oliver Glendening. And the program runs all the way by God's grace. So keep coming to these business seminars. Let's talk and hear one another and form synergies. It's very important. God bless you. And I pray for you succeed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you, everybody. So we have come to a formal close of the program today. See you all during lectures and seminars. God bless you. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank Thanks. you, Pat. Thank you, John. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Walter. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night. Hey, good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. Elvis. Elvis, I, I couldn't believe that. Yeah, good night. <laughs> I thought you. That's close, guys. You feel You're sleeping. Yeah, not, not, not <laughs> yet. <laughs> yeah, just actually, I'm yeah. busy. Bye. Bye. Yeah, today I, did, I, I never had a, a Cosmos talking. Like or was, I, I saw him around. Like, oh, around. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>